Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be budgeting for paycheck one of April. So we are going to jump right on into it. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. My name is Janelle. I do all things budgeting and I also include work with lunches, grocery hauls, and meal planning. So if that is something that you're interested in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also welcome to my new subscribers. I did get some new subscribers here. So thanks, 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 thanks. I hope you guys enjoy. So we are going to start off with the paycheck date, which is going to be for April 9th, because that is when I get paid. And then we are going to start off with the income. Now, I know I talked about this in another video. I can't remember what video it was. I wanna say it was my week one check-in where I kind of know that I did get extra income. However, I am basing the numbers that we're using today off of the monthly budget that I already did. And then when I'm closing out my paychecks, then I will show you guys the additional income that I actually received and where that money went to. It kind of just helps me keep myself accountable for what I've already budgeted for and not try to go all over the place and then not actually maybe pay for something that I should have paid for. So for income, we have my main income which I am budgeting 12.30. And then we have my rollover, which was just the money that pretty much rolled over from March, which was $170 and $64. And then we have commission or other income that I may receive. I budgeted zero at this moment. And then um total so the total income that we'll be working with will be 1464 okay now we're going to go down to my expenses so we have AT&T which is both of our cell phones and i have that budgeted at 18655 that's on auto pay and then i just pay my card off I have Netflix at 1947, which is also on auto pay. It comes straight out of my checking account. We have my transfer to my household account at 300. We are still putting money towards a buffer in my account, which is $50. We have my Capital One Auto, which is the debt that I'm currently working on. I like to split my payments into bi-weekly payments. So um, this will be 250. We have two Ashley furniture cards. One is with TD Bank, the other is with Synchrony. The first one is 96 and the second one is 34. And that is it, y'all. So these are going to be all of the expenses that I have budgeted for this paycheck. Let me go ahead and actually add that all up. So we have 186.55 plus 19.47 plus 300 plus 50 plus 250 plus 96 plus 34. And that puts us at 936.02. So 936.02. Now we're going to go down to my cashless cash envelopes. I do do a digital budgeting envelope system. So I just swipe that debit card and I don't have to ever like get cash or anything like that. At least with my personal budget, I do get a couple of dollars for our household budget, but not for my personal. So we have five categories. We have groceries, gas household, personal, and miscellaneous. Okay. And for groceries this month, I'm actually budgeting $70 because we actually have like a lot of meat in the fridge and stuff like that. So I shouldn't have to spend too much. Um, gas, I am budgeting $90 because I've been talking about this for a while. Gas is 
stupid expensive right now. Um, household is 15 for personal. We are doing 65. Um, I am trying to now save up just a couple of monies because I am going to be taking out my hair maybe at the end of this month, beginning of next month. So I know I'll need to get my hair like washed and stuff like that. And then lastly, we have miscellaneous and that is going to be $34. And that is going to bring us to a total of $274. And um, we are now going to go over to savings. So we have my savings one account. I have a savings two account. I'm gonna put it on here, but I'm currently not budgeting any money into that account anymore since it does not give me the interest that I would like to get on a monthly basis. They do a yearly basis. So savings one is going to get, be getting $15, nothing for savings two, an emergency fund for this paycheck is going to get $42, which brings me to $57 for my savings. And these are just like regular savings account that money should not be coming out of. And this is why I separate it from my actual sinking funds where these can have rolling transactions. So for my sinking funds, I have eight categories. I have a car fund, car maintenance. I have clothes, fun, health holidays, home, my 30th birthday, and then um, I'm just gonna put, I should have put investments in expenses, but I'm just gonna put it right here and I'm just gonna do invest. And that is for my three accounts. I have a Robinhood account, I have an IRA account, and I have a, another um, like investment account and um, so we have that there so for my car fund I'm budgeting a dollar I am currently paying off my current car um, and it should be paid off very soon but I do eventually will want to get a new car so I'm just slowly starting to save for it but it is not something that I am trying to get out right right now for my car maintenance, I'm budgeting 15. This may be going up because I do have some things that I need to um, take care of with my car and pay for. Clothes is $13. I did up my fund budget to 35. We're gonna be doing something in May, so I just wanna make sure that we have some money for it. For health, I am budgeting $10. I haven't needed to get anything, surprisingly enough. I think it's because my boyfriend is not taking his vitamins. Um, while we still have our liquid vitamin left, but by time we're ready to buy something, there should be some money in that account. Um, holidays is getting $5 right now because I'm not putting too much towards there. Home is getting $30. My 30th birthday is getting $5, but I will be putting some more money into here. I'll actually be talking to someone um, about our travel arrangements so we can start getting that together. And then I'll know for sure how much money I need to save. I won't be actually paying for my birthday. My partner will, but there will be some things that I am just gonna take care of on my own. And then for my investments accounts, I am going to be putting together 15. So that total amount is actually going to come out to, if I'm not mistaken, um, let's add this up. So we have a dollar plus 15 plus 13 plus 35 plus 10 plus five plus 30, five and 15. I think I might be crazy y'all. Okay, yeah, so 129 is going to be the total. No, I'm not that crazy. And then I can't write this low, so let me go here. So here we have my expenses at 936.02. We have my cash at 274. We have savings 
at 57 and then we have our sinking funds at 129 and I have the total here but I'm just gonna make sure it adds up <laughs> correctly so 129 plus 57 plus 274 plus 936.02 equals 1396.02 and I'll actually have a remainder of four dollars and sixty two cents um, that I will figure out where I want to put it. It's probably going to go to savings or investments because I do have a goal this month of saving or investing more than or at least $20. So that's probably where that extra money will go to. But we'll actually see what happens when I close out paycheck number one. But if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, like and share with your friends and family. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.